G'day, I'm Tony Wells from Rural Health Workforce Australia. You know, there's a lot to love about rural medicine, and we're here today in central Victoria to hear all about it from a father and daughter who both practice as doctors here in this beautiful, picturesque town of Creswick. So let's go and meet Dr. Brian and Dr. Claire Hepper. Well, when I first came to, to Creswick, um, uh, one of the things that impressed me was actually the community um, mm -hmm. and the golf course and the football club and the cricket club and it was just a lovely community and uh, I only uh, sort of arrived as part of the family medicine program which was in, in what they did in those days. It wasn't as formal as the registrars and, uh, and I was only supposed to be a few months but uh, I've ended up being a bit longer than that. <laughs> yeah, how many years? Well I started in uh, 75, that's when I started practice, so a few. Well, I love rural medicine because I think uh, it's a sense of community, I think, that, that got me. Uh, and that uh, before long I was, you know, involved in other things in the community and, uh, uh, and I became to think of this place as, uh, as home. And uh, that didn't take very long. Um, and I think that happens in a small country town or a smallish country town, that you get involved in that and uh, uh, you become you know, keen to uh, to help in the community in any way you can, and uh, and uh, football teams, golf teams, cricket teams, <laughs> all of that. It's all very good. I don't think it. I, although I have never practiced in the city, mm. but I would think it'd be a little different, really. Uh, well, I love rural medicine for very similar reasons to Brian, I guess, because uh, it is that cradle to grave type medicine. You have that. Um, ability to be involved with as many levels of that as you like. I love doing palliative care and to be able to support someone to stay at home for their terminal illness and to be surrounded by their family, to do that I think is really really powerful. Yeah. Working in a, in a smaller town, um, whether it's a, a bigger practice or not, you are able to find your, your niche in the things that you like to do, pursue extra um, sort of education and experiences in that and, and follow those pathways. I think um, GPs are always going to be the great generalists and you have to know a lot of things and but you don't need to know all of them in depth but you need to know where you are and what's happening but then you can explore those other areas that you think the community needs and really add that in and and that's something that you can invest and I think that is what makes it just such a great way to practice is you are invested in the community it's your home even though I never really wanted to practice in Creswick. <laughs> well, growing up, it was uh, a, a feeling of, I think most teenagers feel that way, if, whether they're in a big city or in a small town, they're like, I don't want to live here, and I'm not going to be here, and I'm getting out of here as soon as I can. And went to Melbourne and, and did science and thought, big eyes, and this is fantastic. And I think I was in Melbourne for 12 years, something like that. But all my medicine has been based rurally. It's all been either at Ballarat Base, um, uh, Maribara, which was a fantastic experience working for six months there, or out here in Creswick. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I don't want to leave now. Uh, I think I went through patches of thinking this is really exciting. And then because we wouldn't see Dad a lot because he was working so hard as a solo GP, I'd think, oh, well, I don't know whether I want to do that because, you know, he just wasn't around. The style of practice, as um, we were saying before, has changed a lot. And in a group practice, I think you do get to balance your work and home life a little bit better. Um, I, I do think that team-based um, uh, approach to general practice has really improved the way that we can balance our work and our home life and it allows much more for sharing of um, commitments. And so you find a lot more families uh, involved and we have maybe almost 17 doctors at our practice now, which is mind boggling, um, <laughs> when Brian used to do it here alone. Um, but I don't think any of them are full time. They all balance it with other things that they find interesting. Um, so they might do plastic surgery or palliative care or obs and gynae. And then you, you sort of are able to bring in other members of the team, like a psychologist, um, uh, the pharmacy is a really important part of our team. Um, and, and we've got a, a great physio who physio. works out of the rooms. And being able to offer that to someone all in the one space is really powerful for the community, I think. And it's changed the way we practice in that people don't have to go outside the community as much to really um, get the services that they need, keep healthy, stay home for longer. And it was a struggle sometimes to get uh, people into physios and the like. Um, so to have that on hand, on tap if you like, mm. uh, is a great improvement. And um, 
As to the 17 doctors, well, I think the more the better. <laughs> One of my patients regularly brings in golf balls that he finds uh, on his walks around the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, uh, he, he brings in hundreds <laughs> of boxes of them at home. They're practice balls, and, uh, but they're, they're, they're very good. And, and so that's, that's one thing. Um, and I've encouraged him not to. He says, well, look, you can't really give me these gifts. But he continues to do that. And he even on one occasion gave me a little clock that was a golf ball. <laughs> Of course, we always say you don't need to bring anything right. at all, but that um, particularly I have a couple of patients who regularly bring me eggs um, and they are beautiful. Um, and so, never a golf ball, but no. the eggs. Um, I've had homemade pickles, I've had um, lovely, lovely fresh vegetables. Um, homemade Zambuca, which I wasn't game enough to touch, and you got to keep it away from, you know, naked flames. Just, that's a bit too strong, but it's just beautiful, and you can tell that people feel really passionately about it. I mean, it's a, I, I'm a bulk billing uh, practitioner and, and so is Brian, but patients feel like they want to give something directly you know, of themselves and that's very touching and that's a, an honour to be part of that sort of care team. Well, what a wonderful life. And our network of not-for-profit rural workforce agencies all around Australia can help you connect with a town like Creswick. So what are you waiting for? Go Rural Australia.